So here's a story uh, from January 2019. It's where we are right now, and here's what's happening. The FDA suspends routine inspections amid shutdown. The shutdown has sharply reduced the number of inspections conducted by the Food and Drug Administration, the Washington Post reports. FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb told the newspaper the agency had to suspend all of its routine inspections of food processing facilities as hundreds of inspectors have been furloughed during the government shutdown. Excuse me. Under normal circumstances, the agency reportedly conducts about 160 food inspections per week with about a third of those inspections involving high-risk processing facilities. Since the shutdown, Gottlieb has reportedly canceled over 50 high-risk inspections. Quote, We are doing what we can to mitigate any risk to consumers through the shutdown, Gottlieb said, adding that he was working to bring back inspectors to cover high-risk facilities as early as next week. The FDA, which is responsible for overseeing 80% of the U.S. food supply, reportedly receives 40% of its funding through appropriations approved by Congress. <sighs> this is what they want. Let's keep your eye on the ball here. Because they'll shrug and they'll be like, ooh, oops, looks like with the government shutdown, we got a little problem skis. No, bitch, this is what you want and this is what you wanted all along. In fact, they would go further. If you're familiar with you know, um, libertarian discourse on this and Republican discourse on this, they think that having government regulators, including people who uh, check whether or not your food is safe, they think that's an authoritarian overreach and it's tyrannical and that the free market will take care of itself and it'll regulate itself. There will be self-regulation. And, uh, you know, we've heard this argument from e other... Uh, political pundits as well. Well, I mean, who? it's not like the people who run the food company want to poison you. So obviously they have a built-in incentive to do the right thing. Just, you know, builders, why building codes? Who needs building codes? Why do you need building codes? When obviously the builder wants to get business in the future, so it just makes sense that they build it good right up front. You don't need regulations. You need regulations. How silly is that? This is, this is their ideology in action, okay? So everybody needs to know that. So they just don't... The point is, guys, they're so out of step with what your average person wants and believes. That might be part of their ideology, and they might believe it and argue for it. Fair enough. But you, people don't agree with you. And they don't agree with you because they're reasonable. And they go, you know what? I think I want a watchful eye making sure that my food is not poisoned. An objective source funded by tax money to make sure, hey... Let's uh, look out for public safety and well-being here. That's not a crazy notion. That's not a tyrannical overreach. In fact, it's one of the basic functions of any civilized functioning society. Um, so just know that this is, this, is, this is part and parcel of who they are. This isn't an oopsie, something happened and we all disagree with it. This is like, a, okay, great, ideal. Again, why do you think you know Trump is like, I don't give a shit about this shutdown because most of the parts of the government that are impacted are just for regular working people. Things that we all like, but they don't like. They don't like it. If it was up to them, they would have a, a wall of separation between economy and government. You know, same way we have separation of church and state, they would do a separation between economy and state. No regulation, no labor laws, no union, nothing. So keep that in mind so you know who you're dealing with. Because the FDA is like one of the extreme examples. The same with the EPA. Because people think, oh, they're in favor of deregulation, but they wouldn't go this far. Yes, they would! Of course they would! Of course they would. It's, it's, it's their philosophy. It's what it is. So they don't care that you have fucking oil executives in charge of the EPA. They don't care, you know, that you have uh, people who were from predatory financial institutions at the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, supposed to be looking out for regular people, but they're not. They're handcuffing the agency to make sure they do nothing. They don't believe those agencies should exist. They don't believe they should exist, so they're going to they're gonna fight back against them. <laughs> and that's where we are. And it's in action right now. This is, this is what it is. Are any of you happy about that? Oh, shit. High-risk plants. We had to limit the number of uh, inspections there because, you know, the government shutdown is, is affecting us. 
What reasonable person who's not an ideologue is happy about that? I mean, come on, man. This is so obvious. So, there you go. Imagine if they were forced to run on what they actually believe in. It's like, GOP! Higher risk food, no regulation. <laughs> 